hello this is Titan's Beats and today I'm doing mission f um, 3 for the Halo 4 reflow mod no def legendary playthrough and I've got the score legendary the iron scale and the grunt birthday party so um this part there's like sort of four sort of sections like this level actually goes on for ages the last sections like you're in a go so it's all good the hardest ones when you start fighting Covenant on this level. That's when it gets it starts getting challenging, banshees and stuff. So you can hold the shield and you can run like this, and you can also sprint with it, which actually helps so much. Like you can just run at a night and get close enough to it, and then you can like spray it with its gun or shotgun it or something. If only Halo 4 had the boost thruster that um Halo 5 had. I've tried it multiple times I've been like doing it because I was playing Halo 5 today on multiplayer and uh, like I like jump and just think it's Halo 5 so like I like jet, I like boost across this is the first pylon Negative. and another thing to avoid is ghosts Hope you don't mind um, vehicles on this are like a no-no you want to avoid them as much as possible the end you sort of have to use one but there's no like nothing shooting at you so you you pretty much always pass it but like when you're getting shot at a ghost is a real bad idea i will say that oh god i thought he died all right i gotta go around this corner and wait for them to come to me So I'll use this until I get a certain gun that I want. Like that. Similar cortical footprint as the tower I have. So as soon as the um, Covenant come in, like sort of later on, that's when it gets quite tough. And the part where you've got to destroy these shield bubbles, um, that sort of gets really tough from when you're fighting the Covenant sort of wave of that and, that and trying to take those out. Mainly because of the banshees. Like without the banshees, the covenant are actually a lot easier than the knights and stuff. But um. Similar phasing activity at the edge of our sensors. We're about to get busy. All right, so I've got to kill all these little guys. Cause there should be some little guys coming around. Quite a lot of them. The knights all up there and stuff. You're not a problem. If you can kill him. You're gonna make the knight actually quite angry, and the, the knight's actually gonna rush you, and that's what you want. I'm gonna be dropping this pistol anyway, so I'm just using it on him if I'm able to, sort of thing. The more I can have a chance of killing him, I will. Definitely. He should run after me though, because I'm running away. And he's pretty much like. Yeah, they act like General Grievous from Star Wars. I've discovered something interesting about and like, I'm pretty much Obi Wan Kenobi and General explode, Grievous, like, get back here, Kenobi. But yeah, they're pretty aggressive, and there's plenty of bullets and stuff around for both these guns throughout this level. Like, in the parts where I'm talking about where you got to destroy these bubble shield things, like these power things to turn down the shield, um, like, you get this gun here in it all the time. So once they lose that shield there, as you've seen, the headshot will instantly kill them. I am just missing the head. Doing pretty bad with that. And that takes 15 seconds and then they'll disappear. I counted it on another attempt to see how long it would actually take.
Alright, I need to kill that. Right now, and that one. I can. Them guys have to go straight away. It's just they're not even worth it. Keep them alive. Because they'll bring the knights back to life. So on my attempt, I actually got killed by one of those. Well, wait, no I didn't. I got killed by a certain part where there was the knights, yeah. There was like a knight in this circle thing, and I wasn't sure like how long, or like if you could kill it or not. Like, I wasn't sure. I knew you could, but like, I was trying to find a way, like, because I was shooting it, and it wasn't really feeling like it was getting damaged or nothing, Relay so. When I died, I just came straight to back to that same sort of area. I started from like the... the around the checkpoint free part like the part of the covenant and stuff because there's like four ways you can start for when you actually think so I start from the start but like um there's like a way that you can go further in the mission and they like all have names I'd be happier to kill all these guys with this gun Oh boy. Come on. I'm not letting you live, Mr. Knight. Ah, uh, there's nothing down there. That distortion yeah, thing. Yeah, it's nothing. That's me. Something about moving through those portals is increasing the load on my systems. Are you gonna be all right? All right, so we're going into the part. I think this, long, I? this is the part where you start to um have it. Uh, you start to have to kill all those like knights and do the bubble shield thing and stuff. So I'm gonna leave that there. What I'm gonna do. The target, but it looks like the entrance is shielded. I'm gonna think this would be a little bit easier actually with a scope, but it's not. So I'm just gonna use this. Okay, it'd be lovely if I could actually just. So I'm just gonna get full bullets. I'm taking my other gun back by far. This one. Nothing beats it. Other than maybe this gun. But even for these guys, it's so good. At close range, it's just a real good gun.
as you can see, I'm not really worried about using all my bullets before I jump down. Kill everything I can, and then I'll jump down. So there's a bubble shield right here that I can easily destroy. So I've got to count these as I go. That went great for you, Mr. Knight, too. I'm getting better with your little tricks. You're gonna have to try something new to fool me. Alright, and then there should be. The only way they're killing me is overnumbering me, or, or I get killed by, like, them, the knight getting too close. But as in the night, just bringing up that thing. And it got away. See, I got killed by one of those, though. They literally suck you in. It's a bit weird. And I was, like, using my shield, running away. I wonder if I, like, turned around. Yeah, little crap. That's why I don't want those. Finally. Oh no, I need to reload. Not a good idea. At all. So there must only be three in the um later on area too, because I think this is like the last one. Great, that's all the cores. Head for the top of the pylon. Nice. Okay, so there's two that spawn there and there's one up top. So I like to run in here. The first uh thing to do, but see I'd like to kill one. Okay, right, that's just the little fella. Not really much of a problem. It's more. Well, I try to assassinate it. Put it in the back. <laughs> Didn't really work. No way. Probably should have grabbed some um, bullets, but um, I'm pretty sure there is some up here. Yep. So where are those bullets I need? Right there. Awesome. Should be full on both guns. I sort of wish this mod gave you more bullets. That'd be pretty cool. Like some other mods have done in the past. Not really for Halo 4, I don't think, but that might happen in Ruby's Rebalance for Halo 4. I'm pretty excited for that. 
land or appear from the land from the land or from the land from the land from the land They must have intercepted our distress beacon. The beacon was pulled into Requiem with us. If they try to follow it... They'll get caught in the gravity well. I'll keep trying to warn them. You just get that beam down. Alright, so yeah, I managed to walk off there after doing this. So, literally, straight after the cutscene, it actually closes up, so I must have walked far, like, forward so fast that it killed, like, oh, I managed, that's how I managed to run off. It's pretty depressing on how, like, it actually closes up and this actually becomes a walkway. So, like, if I watch, I, I managed to walk off straight away, but, like, literally closes like that. It's like, come on. It was so, that'd be, that's, like, so annoying. That was, like, my first attempt I did. I just started walking when the, after the cutscene, because I just didn't, I didn't exactly go and practice the mission or anything. I, I just went straight into it. I'm still haven't really practiced, but I sort of have now though, because after I died, I carried on from where I was, and managed to finish the level. So this part's like around this area now, is like the harder parts of the level. So once the um Once the Covenant die, usually the knights and stuff will leave you alone. But I also found something else. Needler. It's very effective against knights in general. In my practice playthrough, from when I carried on from here, Just a thing that I want to try and keep that needler for later on, if I'm able to. For pretty much this next part that's coming up. Alright, there should be... I mean, I'd love there to be more needler bullets, but... It doesn't always go into your favour all the time, but... Lovely when it does. Alright, where's this? Okay, so up here. So an elite gets assassinated. And then you can double hit this guy. And bam, he's dead. Alright, and the next thing to do is kill that. So I had two of the um, fellas onto me, the, uh, what do you call them? Knights. I had two knights onto me at this point on my actual playthrough for some reason. So maybe this part already happened and then he came because I was taking too long. Figuring out what, how to kill those other things. So I reckon taking a ghost is literally suicide, so I just advise not to. And just... Well, there's more ghosts there if like, you really wanted to, but... Because I'm doing a deathless, it's not worth it. Because the vehicles in this are so weak. Alright, so there's like quite a lot of elites. Five shots to kill an elite, that's all good. So 
excellent. So a knight takes two needler um, explosions, where a uh, elite takes one. No way he's got a needler. Jesus, the needlers are very hard to dodge. Extremely hard. So you can only get 110 bullets though. So that's another thing. So I definitely didn't come through there, so if this is a certain way, this is the way. Definitely. The relay's signal is breaking up again. Well I think it is. Almost it to the beam. So if I have to sort of use a carbine or something, I will, but I really want some more bullets in this gun. Which I think, normally I had I had a ghost here or so. So I think this is the next area. Oh yeah, no, you get a ghost here. But what I'm going to do is I can take the ghost to this area. So I think it was this area that I... that but so this is the hard part that I was talking about this is the hardest part on the level for me so if you can kill this elite before he gets into that banshee that's what you want it's gonna save you a lot of problems Another way to take out banshees is the plasma pistol them and then to throw a sticky grenade onto them. I need to kill one of the banshees now. Before the, I let this door close. Now I do have a banshee to use, but I need to go back and grab some more bullets for this gun and then I can hop out. I was using that to see if I, it was like going to show me a light and seeing if the gun's still there. Or well, there's like two of them or something. Alright. What happens if I jam a ghost into the doorway? Walk out. Ugh. If only that was me. I sort of want a needler, but uh, one thing I can't let happen is him getting into the uh, ghost, it's going to make this a lot harder than it is already. I 
No. Easiest way to take out the Banshees. <clears throat> the Banshees made this very difficult for me, but I found a way. I always find a way to make something easier. Power core down. Shields weak. Still online. Take out the other two power cores and we can access the pylon. So now, so I've destroyed one. Okay, so I think there is free though. There is free all up. Okay. You're there. Any grunts? Take him out now. Try this play as safe as possible. So usually there was a grunt around here. Jesus, you really can't dodge them, can you? Well, not easily anyway. No. No. All right, so I've I've destroyed two, but there should be three. I do see that marker, but I mean, <clears throat> where to go? I just don't know if it's safe to do so. Definitely not risking it, that's for sure. No way. Alright, do I have... I don't Stay think. Down. Get up to that beam. So you can use this banshee now to get up top. Just gonna boost here to see if I've killed everything. Check the area. Definitely looks like I've um, done that. And now I'm just going to go to the end here. And I think this is nearly at the end. And I'm nearly at the ghost part. If it is, the ghost part, don't really. It's, it's very hard to die. Oh no, no, I'm not at the end. There's, there's a few on a leap, but. As long as you focus your fire on all these elites straight away while you're distracted, a few odds first, definitely. You could also throw one of these grenades. 
We read you, but you're breaking up. Help. Increase speed by 27. Get us in there. Negative, Infinity. Do not enter the planet. If you can hear us, keep transmitting. Naughty marines no, or Chief, na naughty um, humans, they never listen. Alright. Don't know if this one's the same as in, like, if I walk far and forward too early, it will thing, but usually I think we go straight out of here. I, th I don't even think I get a really. I oh, know, maybe not. Do you copy? Okay. So, no, okay, so there's a portal. And then I get a ghost and stuff. But Once we're on the satellite, there's bound to be a central control point. The covenant are moving towards the relay too. This doesn't make any sense. Why would they care about a broadcast relay? How soon till Infinity hits the gravity well? Oh yeah, right. Ah. Uh. The covenant are making a push for something on the far side of the satellite. Okay, so as I remember, I went um, left. Don't know what right's going to cause me, but left was a good way. <laughs> don't know what right's. I don't know if right's the wrong choice, and the left's just the right choice, and this is where I did my practice and didn't really die here. Yeah, there's fear odds. <laughs> Quite a lot of them. If you like stand here, you can shoot that thing and it won't be able to actually shoot you. I don't know if there's another elite. There should be another elite though. Maybe not. I don't think it will be a bad move taking this gun. Cause there was. So where do I go? Oh yeah, I go in here. So I think this is the part with the um, those sniper guys and stuff. So I heard a lot of action. I'm a bit worried. I get kill I'm getting uh killed by something. Mainly the elite with the fuel rod. This gun is lovely. Give me more bullets, please. Right. 
sort of have to use this on a knight. Or like, at least an elite. Here it is. This is the part of the fuel rod. I'm happy. I should have just shot him in the head with this gun. A little bit better. But I am definitely just going to use this gun that I've got in my hand. Yoink, I would have loved that before. <clears throat> For this part, having like a full one. It would have been great. The pillars, touch the but I think... <laughs> that, um... Infinity, this is literally the, the, the part next is the ghost God. part. I didn't really get to see what happened because I skipped the cutscene, so I sort of want to watch it. Infinity. Like, I was on the floor, and it's like... I just got the cutscene and like Master Chief's on the floor, like with his hands on the floor, like what just happened? Chief? Chief, let go of the contacts. What is that what is that even doing though? Did it kill those guys or just push them back? Oh, the die dead. He looks so cooler without his armor. Just imagine Halo 4 actually having a boss actually like you fight, not like a boss that's sort of a cutscene more than anything. With a little bit of movement. But like that would have made Halo 4 just a way better game in general. Oh, this is how the Covenant... Um... Even these beasts recognize that you were oblivious to, human. Your nobility has blinded you, as ever. We've got a Darth Vader here. Left little to chance, didn't she? She's got the Force. Literally, this feels like I'm watching Star Wars now. My own world against me. But what hubris to believe she could protect Master Chief's gone to like forever. the worst side of Star Wars. The villain that we don't know about. And man has not attained the matter. Their ascendance may yet be prevented. Time was your ally, human. But now it has abandoned you. The 
foreigners have returned. It's so ugly, though. <laughs> okay, he looks way better now, though. Is now yours. Okay, that's how he lands on his face when you get into the cutscene. <laughs> so wondering for a little bit. That didact, he manipulated Infinity's signal to get us to release him. All right, I see if you're hoping a ghost suicide. I remember, but that was a different part, wasn't it? <clears throat> I think it was this attempt. <clears throat> So I think we just got to jump into a ghost now and Grab one of those ghosts. Hang on, I'm going to channel energy from your shields to overdrive the ghost. Just stay in the middle of the whole area. Holding your holding your boost though. Uh, keep you afloat in the air like at these parts holding it down it's pretty scary though the thing is closing in on you a little bit no ho oh my god oh god that was a slaughter no come on <laughs> we don't want this I want this slaughters <laughs> and grunts it's, it's great <clears throat> I wonder if you're too slow if it actually closed in or it just stops. I'm getting a bit scared. A little bit. <clears throat> oh hell, I don't even have okay, I was gonna say I don't even have to hold the boost, it's just automatically doing it for me. But never mind, it sort of slowed down a bit. Not as fast as it would normally if you're just playing with the normal halo. Save the Addy Misery Grunt. And you, Flea, and you, and you, and you. Oh god, no. No, no, walls, walls, I hate walls. Come on, come on, stop being stuck, I'm, I'm stuck, that's dumb. There we go. This is like so luck. Wait, he shouldn't have done this. This shouldn't have worked. This should not have happened in real life. That I don't think that could have happened. You would have went off no matter what. You would have jumped off and you would have rolled off. Or if you're on your feet, you would have slided to, to off and you would have been like hanging off the cliff, maybe. Needing someone's help get you up but oh my god that would be a bit of a scary situation like being in the desert with that high sort of fall or something mayday, mayday. This is the captain of the UNSC that's a really cool photo but yep that's the level Track its descent. Marking. Impact predicted 77.8 kilometers due north. This next level I think is going to be quite tough though. So I have to use a tank sort of in a certain area. But again I was using the tank on keyboard and I'm very bad with my aim on keyboard on any game. Keyboard and mouse. So, um... You know where he's heading. With a controller, I'll be a little bit better in the tank, Same I think. Place we I just gotta, like, really be careful and shoot everything that's around each corner. That took 40 minutes. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe for, like, my content, and I'll see you in...
the next level for this mod for the um, Halo 4 Reflow mod. Alright, see ya. This mission was pretty hard though.